Hello everyone, if you have a data set where you need to continuously update data from one worksheet to another, then you know how hectic it is to continuously update it manually. But we can easily update it but within a second. Now if you change any data from the main worksheet then you will easily get the change automatically in the new worksheet. So this is Jihadrian Jim from Excel Demi and today we will learn several methods on how to automatically update one Excel worksheet from another worksheet. In our first case, we want to use the copy paste option to update one sheet to another worksheet. At first, we have two worksheet paste link 1 and paste link 2. In our first worksheet, we have employee name, working day, total salary in column B, C and D. We have another worksheet which is paste link 2 and here we have employee name. In the C column, we want to copy paste the total salary here. At first, we have to go to our first worksheet and select the total salary column and press Ctrl plus C in the keyboard. Now, you have to go to your new worksheet and go to the C2 cell to insert here. Then, you have to go to the Home tab and go to the Paste option. In the Paste option, you have to go to the other Paste options and paste the link here. Now, you have got your total salary column. If you go to the first worksheet and change any data here according to that, then you will get your update in the second worksheet automatically. So that's our first method. In our new method, we want to utilize the exclamation sign. To do that, at first we will use the same data set of the previous method. And now we again have two worksheets, exclamation 1 and exclamation 2. At first, we have the explanation 1 worksheet where we have the same data range of the previous method and in the second case, we have employee name and total salary. We want to get the total salary from the first worksheet. And to do that, at first you have to look at that, the first value of the total salary is in the D5 cell. So we'll go to our new worksheet and we have to write down the equal sign and then we have to write down the name of the first worksheet, which is exclamation. So I'll write down exclamation, the name of the worksheet. And then we have to insert the exclamation sign. Then we have to write down the cell number of the total salary. So the first worksheet cell number was D5. So I'll write it down and after that I have to press enter button. Now you will get the result of the first value of the first worksheet. See here. Now if you copy down the formula, then you'll see that you have got all the results. Now you can easily change the result here. So if you change the value, then you'll see the data have been automatically updated here. So that's our exclamation sign to update one worksheet to another. In our new case, we want to update the data automatically but in this case we want to use an extra condition. To do that, we will use the if function to get the job done. So at first we have again two worksheets which is if function worksheet 1, if function worksheet 2. Now at first we have here employee name, working day and total salary like the previous method. Now in our new case, we have if function 2 where we want to have the total salary. But not like the previous methods, we want to only get some values where we have already fulfilled our condition. To do that, we'll use our if function and in the logical test, we'll select the first worksheet D5 value. And our condition is it must be greater than 4000. And if it fulfilled the condition, then it will show the D5 cell otherwise it will show a blank sign so here it is if we press the enter button then we'll get our salary 
as it has fulfilled the condition it has shown the value of the d5 cell of the woofer struct sheet now copy down the formula then you will see where the condition have been fulfilled then it has given us the result but where the condition hasn't then it has shown us the blank cell so that's how you can easily update it now if you change any data like now you have changed it from first data 4250 to 2000 then you can easily see that it doesn't fulfill the data so it has already updated here so that's how we can easily do our third method in our new case we want to utilize a drop down list to get our job done at first we have a drop down list in our worksheet drop down in the b4 cell if you click on the right side of this cell then you'll see you will have the all the names of employees of e column here so this is our drop down list but we want to update it by attaching it to our new worksheet drop down too so how we can attach it to it at first we have to go to our b3 cell where we want to link it then we have to insert the equal sign and now go to the first worksheet where you want to update it and now you have to manually write down the cell number of the drop down list you can easily see the drop down list is in the b4 cell so you'll have to write down the b4 here now if you press the enter button then you'll see the name have been inserted here now if you change your drop down list from ashley to james then you'll see in the second worksheet the name have already been updated as your wish in our new case we want to use the pivot table reference to get the job done at first we have to select the data range here which is b4 to d13 after that we have to press ctrl plus t in the keyboard and in the create table dialog box we have to select ok option now your data range have been converted into table reference now you have to get into the table design tab and now you have to name it properly i'll select the name as employee names so if you hit the enter button then your table have been named as employee names now in your new worksheet which is worksheet 2 then you have to refer it so at first you have to go to the very first cell where you want to insert the table then you have to put the insert sign which is equal and then you have to write down the table name which is you have selected employee names now after that you have to enter the all data option so at first you have to select the all option then you have to close it down by closing parent option now hit the enter button to use the all the updated scene now if you change any data of the table then you'll see the data have been automatic changed here so that's our method in our new case we want to use the power query feature to update one worksheet to another to do that at first we'll again select the whole data range by pressing ctrl plus a in the keyboard after selecting the range you have to create the table and to do that you will again press ctrl plus t and select the ok option in the dialog box so your data range have been converted here now you have to insert the name according to your wish you can easily name it i will name it as employee then if you hit the enter button then you have it now you have to insert the power query so in the data option you have to go the gate data and now in the gate data section from table to range after selecting it you'll have a employee power query editor option you have to select the close and load option here then you'll have a new data query here now if you want to change the data from here then you'll select any data and change it and you go your power query and select the refresh option then you'll see your data have been modified like your main method so that's our whole methods and that's it for today
you can use any of these methods accordingly or you can download the practice workbook from the link below. Hope this will help you. If you have any questions, suggestions or feedback, please let us know in the comment section or you can have a glance at exceldemy.com. Thanks for watching us. If you like the video, please consider subscribing us for more content like this.